Elizabeth, sorry to keep you. No problem. I was just running last. Meet Dr. Juan Cuesta. Juan, meet Elizabeth Archer, my longtime patient and office Olympian. <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. Never a great sign when a new doctor shows up. Today is an exception. Juan isn't an oncologist. He's an orthopedic surgeon. The back pain you're experiencing is from where your osteosarcoma was removed. But this isn't a reoccurrence. We've examined your PET scan and you are cancer-free. <sighs> wow. That's great. So, my two doctors. Now, when the tumor was taken out, a metal plate was installed for stability. Unfortunately, it's moved. That's what's causing your discomfort. Fixing it will require another surgery. <sighs> but you are in great hands with Dr. Cuesta. Is this my fault? Not at all. Did I move in some way that I shouldn't have? I do a lot of stretching. No, it's been 10 years. Over time, the body shifts and hard work can shift with it. But if I'd gone to the doctor sooner, I might never have needed the plate at all. And maybe the tumor wouldn't have grown so big. Is nothing that's happened is your fault. We've talked about this. <laughs> and why ask why? And <laughs> Man, it's hard to stop. do some surgery. <laughs> this is the site of a previous surgery. Not a lot of damage. Exactly. If a sizable tumor had been removed from this area, a large chunk of spinal cord would have been taken with it. You'd see a ton of irregular scar tissue. Instead, there's just one clean cut. Cancer didn't put her in a wheelchair, Max. It looks like her surgeon did. She must have had... Uh... Since then, would have no, seen. not with the plate. The plate made it impossible to give her an MRI and created too much artifact on a CT scan to see the area clearly. But there was a structural reason for the plate to be there, right? None that I could see. So we did this. A New Amsterdam doctor cut her spinal cord. And put a plate inside her to cover it up. She did have cancer. That was real. Yeah, but that's not what put her in a chair. We did, and she deserves to know that. She will. We are absolutely going to tell her. No. Max, we need to see the op report. We need to speak with the original surgeon. There's no reason that we can't tell her right now. But we don't have all the facts. And if we're wrong about any of this, if we give her more misinformation, let's take the day, 24 hours to get her the truth, and then we will talk to her together. Elizabeth Archer. Gerald. Holman. You stood there while he put her in a wheelchair for life. Deny it? I can't. Dr. Tolman was the department chair. It was my third surgery. He made a mistake. A mistake? And you kept his secret. He kept insisting that I forget what I'd seen. That's what doctors do. That's how we take care of each other. I tried to believe him. I wanted to believe him. But I knew I'd never be able to live with myself. And so, unlike everybody else in that room, I reported him. You reported him? The next day. There's no record of that. I am not surprised. Sorry. You reported a doctor who covered up a botched surgery, and there is no record of an investigation? Who the hell did you report him to? The dean of medicine, Peter Fulton. I told him everything. Nothing happened. Keep the incision dry for at least 48 hours. 
the plate fixed? It was removed. I don't understand. Uh, Dr. Koyster took it out. But if it's out, how will I sit up? Well, as it turns out, you may not actually need it. This doesn't make sense. I can't sit in my chair without the plate. I have to be able to sit because if I can't do that, I can't do anything. We'll have answers soon, Elizabeth, I promise. But, but for now, that's, uh, that's all I'm at liberty to say. Uh, forgive the mess. Had I known that this was Inquisition Day, I'd have tidied. A woman's in a wheelchair. And you think that I put her there? The man you should talk to is Dr. Gerald Tolman. This isn't about a rogue doctor. This was a cover-up. You put the integrity of this hospital... The word I'm thinking about isn't integrity. It's litigation. Cases like this get hospitals shuttered. So as I only have a few minutes before I have to address our board, let me get ahead of the 5,000 lawyers who'll be coming for your scalp by asking one question. What the hell were you thinking? Are you smiling, Peter? I'm sorry, I was trying to dredge up my ashamed face, but it just wouldn't come. Maybe you'd like to visit Elizabeth's recovery room. Okay. I'll put aside my peek at your moralizing and just focus on New Amsterdam. You're worried about lawsuits. So if I had gone after Tolman's license, not only would he have sued, he'd have won. Clint Hartman was ready to testify. And who do you think a jury would have believed? Hmm? Gerald Tolman, chair of neurosurgery with a list of accolades longer than your arm, or his 28-year-old intern, Clint. So your answer was to do nothing? Oh, no, my answer is pulling him from rotation and getting him the hell out of the hospital and making sure that he doesn't hurt anyone else. No lawsuits, no headlines. The only trace is the grief for Elizabeth Archer, which, by the way, I share. And the knowledge that because of my choices, New Amsterdam has a neurosurgery department for you two to screw up. You should have gone to the board. Dilettantes? Billionaires? They were your employers. And not a doctor among the bunch. Do you know any of these doctors, Madam Brantley? Do you? The doctors who, if all this came out, would have lost their jobs, their professions? I protected them. I take care of my own. And that is my legacy. And man, I am proud of it. Your legacy is a profound error in judgment, which I can relate to as I made one myself when I didn't fire your ass sooner. Why are you telling me this now? Because I've seen you question yourself so many times uh, and, and blame yourself. Now you know that none of this was your fault. It was ours. So, everything that happened to me was a lie. The tumor was real, but you didn't need to end up in a wheelchair because of it. Every six months when I come to see you, you'd, you'd check on me, do a scan, tell me I was doing better. And there's no way that she could have seen this without removing the plate. So you want a gold star for finally telling me the truth? No, we, we want you. I don't care what you want. Here's what's going to happen. Elizabeth. No. I'm going to get the most bloodthirsty malpractice attorney I can find. And I'm going to sue this hospital back to the stone. 